Hi, this is Dr. Nikki and I'm here today to talk with you about math workstations. First of all, what are they? Math workstations are a place where students engage, sometimes with themselves, sometimes with others, with partners and sometimes in a group, around ideas to build their mathematical knowledge. Why do them? Because they're purposeful practice and they help children to get better. They help children to work in their zone of proximal development and get better at the stuff that they need at that grade level. In math workstations, you can be working on fluencies, you can be working in the critical areas, you can be working on the mathematical practices, you can probably be working on a combination of all of these um, in those math workstations. Math workstations help children to review things that they have done, they help them to prepare. Sometimes there's an exploratory station where they're just kind of preparing for something that they're about to do. It helps to enrich children in their mathematical knowledge and they, it helps them to practice, to practice, to practice in that zone where they get comfortable and where they get confident around the math that they are learning. Math workstations can be independent and they, can, they should be self-checking, right? Independent, I mean, the teacher doesn't have to be there. Self-checking, I mean, they can turn the card over, they can look on some sort of answer sheet, and they can see that they're playing the game correctly and what the answers are. There should be some way to self-check in a math workstation. Because if we're playing a game and I say 3 times 4 is 15, and you say yes it is and you let me move, then that's not really purposeful practice. So you want children to have some kind of way to check. If I say 3 times 4 is 15, you need to be able to check it some kind of way to say, well, no, you're wrong. You don't get to go this turn. So you really want to have self-checking stations. Um, the next thing is that you want to practice those math workstations at the beginning of the year. Spend the first 20 days of school practicing. On my blog, I have something called the first 20 days of a guided math um, lesson or the first it's really the first 20 days of math workshop you want to really look at how you build children's understanding of that and I'll do a video where I talk about that um, but I really want you to know that it doesn't just happen it's not a miracle bam the first day of school kids know how to go in and out of the stations you really have to prepare them and it's worth the investment so spend the time those first 20 days of school practice what it means to work in a math workstation what it means to be a good partner in a game what it means to be a good sport all of those things that make the math workstations work and finally in those math workstations have artifacts right you want to have artifacts so that you know what the kids were doing because you're not going to be able to be at every station all the time but if you have an artifact and the kids say oh we played compare uh, numbers and we were we were throwing multiplication facts and then comparing them you want to see what they really did so I would have some sort of artifact and I'm going to do a series of videos showing you some of those artifacts and showing you some of the games in action uh, so that's a little bit about math workstations. They're important. You should definitely incorporate them into your math block, even if you don't do math workshop, because they're really a part of a math workshop. But even if you don't do math workshop, try to do math workstations a few days a week, even one day a week. I always tell people, just start. Start somewhere. Maybe you do it one day a week, and you do one game at different levels. All right, as always, happy mathing, Dr. Nikki.